Okay, so the wrong camera started off with it. How is everybody doing today? First of all, can you hear me? Uh, we are live. I was just live on Facebook and Instagram. I hope everybody's doing fantastic today. Uh, I get a yes, so I'm assuming that you can hear me. No, I do not want to dance. Uh, Henry and Sean Strong got moderators already in the house. Thank y'all very much. Good to see y'all in here as always. And let me see here. I got comments there. Man, it looks like we might be doing things right. We can hear me. I love it. Coming in. Ooh, I already got one says it's coming in and out. Man, what is going on? We are trying a wireless mic. It, it's not running in Dallas right now, but it looks like it could be soon. Uh, death, death, that's the easiest to be fun your video. I like that. Loud and clear. Got Phoenix in the house. Man, everything is good. Well, first of all, man, thank y'all for being here. This is a great thing. Uh, if you've never been here before, and we're live plumbing Q and A today. We're actually talking about how I created a successful trades business, grew it and sold it, and I can teach you to do the same thing. The cool thing is today we're celebrating five hundred thousand subscribers right here on YouTube. We hit it on TikTok about. A month ago, month and a half ago, celebrated over there too. So I'm going to jump into the chat. But here's what y'all want to do. Y'all want to hang around today. I'm going to tell y'all the things that you can do to get in the drawing. Next Saturday, we're going to give away $5,000 and we want to give it to y'all. So there is a link up top. It says click here to enter. That'll put you in the Gleam IO system. It'll tell you what you can do to get points. And man, start with subscribing, start by ringing the bell. That way you know when we're going on and what we're doing. And man, it is going to be good. Uh, man, I'm going to jump down here real quick. I already got a super chat in here. Man, what a way to start. There it is. Let's put that up there. California Lickmore says, and I say Calif Lickmore. There we go. Uh, my commercial plumbing company in New York City told me that my helper apprentice hours count towards getting my license. But how do I know for sure? Well, number one, depending on how it's set up in New York, what I would tell you is Texas has a form that the master plumber can fill out. So, yeah, your hours will count. You want to document all of them, document everything that you can, and you will be fantastic. All right, let's see. Jedi Stub Muffin, how are you? Says, love you, Roger. Keep your socks dry. I always try to, so thank you very much. Right there is a link to the giveaway. Yeah, I don't know if you can copy and paste that off there. I don't think you can click on it. But good to see y'all in here. Matthew Warlick, good morning. Alan Patino, John Fisher says, when it starts, I feel like a kid again waiting on Saturday morning cartoons. John, thank you so much. Look, I love what I do, and I get to do it because of y'all. So, number one, thank you for being here. Number two, again, guys, thank you for 500,000 subs. It really is such a big deal. Uh, all right, let me see. Matt McDonough, look here. What's up? Says, good morning, Mr. Miyagi of Plumbing. How are you? Good to see you as always. Colton, my editor, the man, the myth, the legend is in the house. And I got superstar. Look, I have a rock star in here. I'm, I'm going to jump down real quick just because I see... Now, where's it? There it is. The great, the one, the only, the rock star, Daniel Batal. Guys, if you don't know Daniel, if you hadn't seen him, link, jump over to his channel. He is phenomenal. Uh, my brother from another mother. Matter of fact, if you see the new employee that I hired, I swear when he walked in the office, I thought it was Daniel Batal. Uh, really did. It, it's it's kind of crazy, but he looks so much like him. It's Pretty funny. Uh, Roger is here. Uh, Jesse, I was still on Instagram. Jump back over here now. Uh, Big Dog is in the house. What is up? Trosima, good to see you in here again. Brandon the Plumber, we are ready to go. And Colton Casada says, show me the money. So we are going to be doing a giveaway next week. Uh, we're going to be giving away $5,000. We're going to do it throughout the show. There'll be five different things that five different drawings we're doing. That way the people can win money. So I just thought of something. 
Hey, wh where are we getting five thousand dollars from? Oh man, I thought it was a great idea, but but wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Scott Hayden says, Where's Roger at? Ladies are waiting for free money. There you go. Kel L back in the house. Happy Saturday. Finally got the toilet and pop leak taken care of. Hats off to Chad and his apprentice. Way to go. So Kel L, what company did they work for? Just out of curiosity, always trying to help people out. Z Tubes is representing Canada where the real plumbing is done. Man, man, I heard in Canada, y'all like to stay home four to six months out of the year because it's too cold. Just heard that. Not sure. Um, Bella Cat, how are we doing? Well, I have a roll of duct tape. What can I fix and not fix with it? And with duct tape, what we've done on Bella Wire, you can fix anything for them. It's a proven fact. <laughs> Tim Young's in the house. Good to see you as always. I hope you're doing well. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Sean Strong is also in the house. Good to see you. Got good morning there from Randy. Got a yes here. And somewhere, architectural sheet metal one in the house. Good to see you too, as always. Now, the comments are going by so quick. I am trying to keep up. We're going to go out here in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn on my iPad. I don't even think about that. Probably should have already done that. Uh, I try to turn on my iPad and log in over here. That way I can carry comments out there with me. And actually, Colton, if you'll come in here, I'll give you this to where you can make this thing go live. Uh, he logs me into StreamYard, he does cool stuff. That way I can see all the comments. So I'm going to jump back in here. Uh, we can hear me good. John Fisher says, good, man. I am doing fantastic. Endless Warrior 2 recall. Roger, I know you probably won't see this, but thank you for all you've taught me. Number one, I did see it. Uh, there you go. You got proof right there. But thank you. Look, I get to do some cool stuff. Making YouTube content to help people, man, that, that is probably the coolest thing I get to do. So it is. It's fun. I love it. Curtis says, yes. Got Sean, good morning. Good morning. Chris Shavers. Chris Shreves, how are you? Uh, coming in. Okay, we can hear you. It's coming in and out. Okay, I've got Colton and Randy back there listening, too, just to make sure that there's not any problem there. Okay. Let's see what we got right here. It's the fun things that we have to do. Did it email it or? Okay. Watch this. Perfect. Sorry, guys. Uh, tech happens and, and we got to take care of it as it comes along. Jay Nash, how are you? Death is easy. Death is easy. Man, a lot is hard. Uh, Michael Allen says, I can hear you perfectly. Thank you. Uh, Scott Hayden. Is it still running in DFW? It, the roads were kind of damp, it looked like it didn't run on me all the way in. Perfect. Jesse Rivas got Phoenix in the house. There are the links to the subreddit and the Discord group. Man, Sean Strong is the man over there. He knows what's going on. He makes things happen. It is beautiful. So I'm going to talk for a minute about how I started a plumbing company because I did not start your normal way. I literally... I walked out of a job on Friday, not this last Friday, but on a Friday, and I knew I knew I was in the wrong spot. And, and I guess I really knew that beforehand because it just it wasn't going good. Don't get me wrong, I was running a big job out at DFW Airport. I was the construction director of operations for construction. But man, the thing is, I knew I weren't working, I was not working for the right company. I was not working for the right people. And so anyway, I left, ended up starting my own company on Monday instead of just going and getting another job. And, and it's phenomenal. But I learned a lot along the way. I learned what you really should have, what I should have done before I started my own company. Uh, so, so my big thing is, first of all, and try to have money in the bank because I didn't. I literally, I started it a bootstrap, shoestrings, no money whatsoever. It's just like, hey, here we go. 
it's a tough struggle in the beginning because you've got to find out how to make that phone ring. So everybody now, before you ever start a company, get your website up, know what name you're going to use, do research. That way you don't just get a name that somebody else already has. Maybe somebody had a bad name, you know, Fred Fleming. Maybe Fred was a crook. Your name is Fred. You're like, oh, Fred Fleming, you open up. And then you find out nobody will use you, and then you have people even come to sue you because they think you're the same Fred Fleming. So always think about what you're doing beforehand. Can you get a web page built? Can you get business cards? Can you get a phone number? Can you get a bank account? Can you get things set up to get ready even before you start? If I knew I was starting a new company a year from now or two years from now, I'd build that web page right now, even if it didn't have a phone number. I would build it because I would want people to start finding it. And it may be the joke of the town. They'd be saying, hey, there's a web page out here that there's there's no way to get in touch with them. That's fine. That's going to drive more people to it. When I do go and put my phone number on there, the domain authority is already so high, the phone is going to work. Gil says, hello. Loud and clear. I love it. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay. So just make up one time. Good deal. What's up? And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, guys, it, it, look, we're talking today about giving away five grand. We just hit 50,000 subscribers. That, that should be worth a up, I would think. Brother Daniel Vital, good to see you as always. Scott Hayden says, Roger, can you tell us more about Lean AP and the certification process? Yeah, it scared the mess out of me. Uh, I literally, I wanted to be a lead AP because I was a superintendent and quality control manager. I thought, wait, what was my official title? Quality control manager on a big job. And it was a lead project. So I literally had to do a lot of the lead paperwork. But then I went into one of the vice presidents of the company that I worked at one and said, look, I want to be a lead AP. And he said, uh, no, it's not. Wait, hold on. I'll look at two things. I'm trying something up here. Okay. Uh, Endless Warrior, I just clicked on the link up top and, and, and it did work for me. So let's hit a million people out there. Matt, I love it. Matt Bellica, I love it. Uh, and, and, and that's the goal. Actually, right now the goal is a million, but you know what? By the time we get there, it's going to be 10 million. So we're constantly looking, what do we have to do to get better? So anyway, I went in and he said, he said uh, it, it, it's an impossible test. I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, it's a test designed for architects and engineers by architects and engineers. And, and we're at a very large mechanical contractor. He says, Roger, I've, I've got engineers that can't pass it. And I told him, I said, man, but look, I, I will. Uh, you let me take it. If I feel like I'll pay to take it again. I'll do whatever it takes. And he said, you know what? If you really want to, it's up to you. So I did. And luckily for me, well, I'll tell you what, when I got the book in, the study guide was about this thick. And as a plumber, I started reading it, and very little of that book is about plumbing. It's all about the wind, the, the, the sun, the direction of the building, traffic in the area, public public traffic in the area, meaning public services, a bus, things like that. There's so much in it that just blew my mind. I literally, the first time I picked it up, I thought I was reading Russian. It made no sense to me. Luckily, I rescheduled my exam because in order to take it, you sign up for it and you schedule it. Uh, so I rescheduled it. I rescheduled it for Labor Day or Memorial Day weekend. I don't remember which. Took off that Friday, so literally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm studying. I had online quizzes, online exams. I have a study book, and I'm studying everything. Monday night, I found one more online exam that says, hey, look, this is the closest thing to the real exam you'll ever see. So I went through and took that test at about 9 o'clock at night and made a 40. Everything else I'd made about an 80, 85 of. I made a 40. So I, I, I got sick at my stomach because you can't reschedule because it's the day before. I literally printed out that test. I put every answer that I wrote down that was wrong. 
And then I was right and I studied why I thought it was wrong and why I thought it was right, why it is right. And I did that till about one o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep, woke up at six in the morning, went through that again. The certification is hard. I took that test the next day and actually passed the first time. Scared me to death, though. Uh, ZTube says, what if we're already a sub on everything? Uh, man, I don't know. Uh, I would go in there and, and ask what all it's telling you to do. And, man, if you're already a sub on everything, you're probably good. You probably already get the points. We will check and see. Nicole Langua, how are you? Good to see you in here. Jesse Rivas, what's up? Yeah, Rich, and that's a, that's a great idea. If you're working for a company and you're not sure if they're tracking your hours right, you track them with your pay stubs. Document, create an Excel sheet. How many hours do you work a week? And you walk in and show, let's say the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners or somebody like that, hey, here's my hours. I've documented, I've tracked them. Here's my pay stubs. I don't think they're going to argue with you. Use that 5K from a new bathroom. You throw my toilet off the roof I could have used. Uh, man, we threw two off the roof the other day, just to be honest. Uh, this is make sure they charge enough. You know, and, and that's the thing. And, and I had this conversation just the other day. A lot of people, when they go into business, the way they set their prices, they set their prices by reaching out to other companies. You know, used to we do that. You'd call people and say, hey, hey what, what's your... Uh, what would you charge by the hour? And back then it was called TNN, Time and Materials. And the thing was, people call around until they found the lowest company. Meaning, hey, we charge $95 an hour. I'm like, man, that's high. You know, your plumber only makes 20 bucks. Well, there's a lot involved there. But they'd call around until they found somebody charged 80 bucks an hour. Companies now use flat rate pricing. It's like, well, what do you need done? I need a toilet change. Well, that's $576 with the toilet they can give you exact pricing because it's based on the national average. How long should it take us to get there? Move the old toilet, put the new one together, install it, and get out of there. That's what everything's based on. Michael Allen Barth says local 33 in the house. So where's local 33? I know I've got a pin because I used to go to the instructor training program, so I've got pins from all around the country. It's pretty cool. Uh, Rich is with my business. I'm struggling to get more customers. You know, everybody is. That's why I started using social media to grow my business. And Rich, I got to tell you, it helped. Starting Facebook groups, making videos, teaching your people, then send out a list, an email list to all your, or send out an email to all your customers, telling them there's a group there where you teach them how to do things. Then you become the expert to them really, really quick. Um, Master Plumber Mike, how are you doing? Good to see you. We can start, he says, what brand are those green gloves you always wear? Uh, thanks for your info you put out there. I believe they're Viper. Uh, I don't know. I can, I can look whenever I'm out in the shop here in a minute. Around the house with Eric G. If y'all have not checked it out, go over there, connect, subscribe, follow. Way to go. Really and, uh, Daniel Vital, brother, yeah, you make life fun. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dennis, Dennis the Apprentice, I know. Isn't that funny? Mitch Smedley says, yo, watching from Kansas City, would love to collaborate with you on our podcast or our YouTube channel sometime. Mitch Smedley, get in touch with me. Let me see what all you do. We can definitely talk about it. You know, the, the thing is, and I don't mean this in a bad way, we are so busy. We shoot about, well, this week I think I shot 60 short videos, and I think I shot five or six full-length videos. And courses and two podcasts. So, man, I'm busy uh, and I don't mean that bad. I just want you to know, send me your information. Let me see what it's about. And I think it's beneficial for both of us. It, it, it's very possible. Andrew Rock says, yo, Joe, I've been watching Dennis and Roger forever. I love that. You know, it, it's, man, it's, there's good stuff out there. Roberto Bros Painting, good morning. How are you? JL Carr says, uh, let's get the show on the road. We are. We are all over it. Uh, Michael Sakaris is back and talk about Central Therm. How are you, brother? Looking forward to seeing you next week. I know Amber sent you an email. 
Nathan says the new employee. Hey, new employees are a great thing. Uh, you've got an opportunity to come in to learn, to grow, to do wonderful things. Eric Beiser says here in Maryland, good to see you. Matthew Woolly Wooler says, Roger, you are a true professional. I try, but, but I got to tell you, man, I get busted by people. Uh, you know, we, we put a video out. I think it actually went out last weekend, uh, pr probably about the time of this, the one where we spilled. And you know, we had a little bitty ladle. I didn't have one big enough to do it. So I thought, you know what, we can try to pick it up and pour it with this just to work. And it was a mess the moment we picked it up. Shouldn't have done it. Did it. But I have people bust me. I, I get people sending me messages every day saying, you are not a plumber. Well, number one, you go to the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners and check. It's really, really easy. But I don't even waste time telling them that. It is what it is. But then again, Matthew, I get people like you in here. This is why I do what I do. I want to make the world a better place. And brother, I'm trying. <clears throat> Anthony Pellegrino says, hello from Long Island, New York. John Dara says, I want to thank you for all your help and helping push me into a trade. You are the best. John Dara, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Look, I, I, and I know it sounds funny. I love y'all. Here's the deal. Y'all let y'all allow me by watching my videos, by commenting, by talking, by sharing my videos. Y'all allow me to do the things that I do. I try to make y'all's lives better by teaching y'all tips, tricks, anything at all. But man, y'all make my life amazing. Thank y'all very much. All right. Mondo and Stephanie Construction. Good morning from Mondo. A of Utilities out of San Antonio. Good to have you in here. Matt Bella Cat, grateful man. Thanks. Hope all is well with you, man. Life is phenomenal. I, I really, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm looking at some property out of town. I'm, I would build a shop, a training center, all kinds of cool things. So we're looking at it. Okay. Kel L says WF Hanco in North, Northeast Ohio. Tim Yount says congratulations. Michael Taylor is working and watching. Hello, everyone. Good to see you in here as well. Christian Dover, electrician from Florida here. Always good to see some plumbing, just in case we hit something on accident. Brother, you're an electrician. You don't do it on accident. Come on. Be real with people. You see pop on the wall, you're like, watch this. The hole in there and ain't nobody even going to know it. I'm joking. Uh, thank you for being in here, Christian. I appreciate it. Travis Dora, hello. How are you? Uh, Samuel Artist says, good morning from Wisconsin. What is up? Travis Casada, man, I hope you're not related to Colton. I'm just, you know, man. No, Colton's a great guy. Does wonderful things around here. Uh, Jess Rivas, CHS Plumbing from Arizona and Colorado. I love it. As we, we are, that there's a link up top. It says click here to enter the giveaway. Next Saturday, we're going to be giving away $5,000. It's not all going to be the one person, but you know what? If you do all the things it tells you to do, there may be an opportunity one more than once. I don't know. I need to look at the rules because I don't know them all myself. I would love to see five different winners each take home $1,000. I think that would be wonderful. Roberto Brothers Payne says, I'm about to start my YouTube page. I love it. Man, you got Daniel Batal in here. Watch what he's doing. He can you can learn so much on his channel about how to use YouTube. Uh, another friend of mine, Daniel and I were both in his live stream earlier. Nick Neman. There's so many people you can learn from. Here's the Ohio Michigan Board saying hello. Good to see you. Thank you. So, so Michael Allen Barth, and there's a comment while well, ago. Up north, do y'all work year round? Or do, is does the ground get too wet, too cold? I don't, I'd get too wet and cold. I'd be in Hawaii like half the year if I lived up there. Rich is going great. Good to see you. Hello from Romania. 10 o'clock p.m. there. 1900, 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, Greg's, Greg Loveless is working Saturday for me. Hello, everybody. Man, I got to get caught up in comments. I'm 30 minutes behind. Almost. I kind of determine when my water heater was manufactured. Uh, man, there's a code. Uh, 
depending on what brand it is, if you'll put a picture of it in our subreddit or our Discord group, you'll get people that will give you the answer. I wish I had the exact, there's a BIM modeling website where just by serial number, serial number or model number, model number, I think, serial number. It can tell you what year it's manufactured, what your how long the warranty is on your water heater or on this. It's great. I mean, yeah. I mean, irrigation techs in high demand in Tucson, but they're in high demand everywhere. Tim Yance says rain is better than snow here. A few of you have missed the thumbs up. Yeah, guys, if you like what we're doing, just give us a thumbs up. If you love what we're doing, man, share it. Share it to a social media platform and say, hey, if you, if you like the trades, if you love the trades, anything like that, you're in the trades, you want to get in the trades, y'all check this out. If you'll share it and tag me at Roger Wakefield, and I'll make sure my team gives you a shout out. It, it's, it's part of what we do around here. And Ross, good morning from Longmont, Loveland, Colorado area. Everest Mechanical in the house. Matt Hossel says, you make me want to be a plumber. Thank you for the motivation. You call me back in five years ago and say, man, you messed up my life. I'm a plumber now. No, look, plumbing to me is it's the greatest education in the world. Here's my favorite things about it, which I'm lucky. My father, I had to help him work on the cars growing up. And, you know, not just his car, my mom's car. Later, my, my sisters, my older sisters, all kinds of people. But the cool thing was then I could work on my girlfriend's cars. Uh, I could change out stereos. I could change brakes. I could do so many things that a lot of people couldn't do. So when I later got into the trades and got ready to become a journeyman, man, working with my hands, I was good at it. I told them, if you'll give me a couple of minutes, I'll swing that direction. Uh, you just thought on home warranty work. You know, in, in the beginning, I'll tell you what I would do. Home warranty work wants to pay you a small price. I, I completely get that. But my thought is, <clears throat> why not go out and network, build relationships with real estate agents? Because they don't. They want the best. Now, don't get me wrong. You'll get some that'll nickel, nickel and dime you to death. But I tell my real estate agents, I don't work for you. I work for your customer. You're introducing me to them because I do things right. Isn't that what you want? And I tell them, I'm not the cheapest. Uh, yeah, Michael Peters says, wish I would have started my business years ago. You know, and, and Michael, here's the thing. Number one, if you've got a good coach, a good mentor, a good system, a good process, you can do that. I tried starting a company twice. Years before this one, and I screwed them up. Uh, I personally screwed them up. Uh, be praised. Good to have you in here. Love your videos, brother. Benjamin Cruz, thank you very much. I don't know if it's just me, but that link is not working through my phone. Okay, so tell me now in there if if you came back in, if, if it's working now. Uh Love your videos. You look like my instructor in the Plumbers Union over here in New York City. Uh, well, Dal, what local are you in? Because uh, I've got a friend, uh, John Cullen, in Local One, who's phenomenal. Yeah, let's hit a million people out there. And if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Share this with somebody. Uh, we are going to be talking about the giveaway next week. We're giving away $5,000. We just got to figure out who's giving thousand dollars for us to give away because that part wasn't mentioned the other day. How did you get your name out there to get all the work? Uh, th this right here, Rich, uh, I started doing social media and, and that's why that's what I teach people to do now, how to do it. But it wasn't just social media. It was getting out networking, uh, networking, learning to use social media, learning to use video, learning to use SEO, Getting the right website developer. There are website people out there, that, are y'all ready for this? That will rip you off. I, I know that's a surprise to a lot of you, but they will take every freaking penny you have and tell you they need more to make your phone ring. It blew my mind. But luckily, I learned how to do social media and I don't need them anymore. But don't get me wrong, you still need a good website. And I finally found a great guy. Alexander says hello from Maine. Hope everyone is doing well. Biggest pipe you've worked on? I think I worked on some 
336 out at Texas Instruments. Uh, Rich, hello, good to see you. Uh, Key Kim says, me and my wife love your reaction videos. I love that. Thank you very much. Jay Nash says, your speech isn't as clear today as in all videos. I always hit the thumbs up for watching. Uh, which speech? My, my, my introduction or just my communications? We do have a different mic. We are, we're, we're trying out new things because we're trying to make it we're, we're movable. If we're going to do a variety type show where I'm in here for a while, I'm in the shop, I'm fixing to cook fajita for a minute. Uh, so I'm going to go out here and get the, the fire going. Stan Cruz says plumbers are the easiest of trades to master. Only four things to be complimented. Yeah, Waters on the left, gold on the right, payday is Friday. Don't show too much crack. And boss is an SOB. Most of those things are true. Uh, Ricardo says, good morning from El Paso. You know, it's really neat. And, and you, know, you ask how I got my name out there. I started putting out enough content that I started getting asked to speak on morning shows. And El Paso is what made me think about it. About it. I actually flew out to El Paso one day, did one of the morning shows in the morning. And, and it was phenomenal. And then came back home. Or IT guys, white collar or blue collar. Man, I'm, I'm going to have to say... It depends on if you're in implementation and design. Do you sit in the office all day and work on a computer? Or are you the guy out in the field installing IT systems? White and blue. Roger, you ever checked out pipe relining? Just pick that up, the machine. Very interesting. Travis, it's something I want to do. Tell me, I didn't hear what brand you use. All right, so I got another comment that says your mic is a bit off. I'm trying not to just lean down and talk into it, but I may have to. Fill it with injector pump. Those are very interesting. I've never actually even had to work on them. Okay, where is local 46? So I asked about 33 earlier. Where's 146? Jeffrey Pepper says, hey, Roger, love your videos. Congratulations on the success you've achieved so far. Thank you. Customers from Facebook. Oh, man, the giveaway is going to be fun, guys. All right, Colton, you about ready? All right, I am going to hit the hallway camera here, guys. We're going to change it. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. All right, all right, all right. Everybody tell me, does that sound a little better? I'm hoping that I get a yes. I got a congratulations there. I like that. Congrats on the thing, Jake. Thank you very much. How's the audio sound now? Does it sound good, bad, ugly, better? Lovers and loud mics don't look go well together. Seems louder. Okay, good. I'll take that. At least maybe you can hear it. I'm bumping it down just a little bit. Y'all let me know how that is. Check, check, check. One, two, three. Watching from Atlanta. Congrats on 500. Thank you very much. Two off the roof, I know. Uh, yeah, we've had fun. Okay, guys, a lot of y'all are going to get mad at me. Uh, I am coming to Atlanta. William Johnson, I am headed, and I'm just looking down at her site. I am headed to Atlanta. Let me see. I head to Vegas Sunday, back home a week later on Saturday. We good? Uh, back home a week later on Saturday. Then Sunday, I head to Atlanta. I'm at a trades conference in Atlanta that Monday. I go out to Alpharetta for Powerful Professionals. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think I'm back home the next Friday. Everybody, how's the mic? You tell me, uh, just good or bad? Uh, we swap mics completely. I just want to make sure everything's good before I walk off and go to the shop. Uh, I am going to lose a lot of these comments because when I go back there, hmm, signal issue, the clarity issue. Very interesting. Thank you, Duke. 
one of my photographers. How you doing, brother? It's good to see you as always. Sounds better, but not that much. See, we're trying to come up with a great laugh system. Uh, and the only other way is to put it over in my pocket. I hate doing that. I really, I really do like these laughs. This is not helping me. I just moved it up a little bit closer than I normally go, but it's okay. I'm going to bump down a volume on it, so maybe that'll help. Okay, I have Lily in the house. Felicidades on 500K. Looks good on you. Thank you very much, Miss Lily. Uh, Miss Liliana is in the house. Let me see if I can get here. So that is the, the twin sister of Lily Bet who works here. Okay, maybe not twin sister. Lily Bet will shoot me over that. Uh, and I don't see it over. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Liliana, this is the mother of Lily Bet who works here. So Liliana, good to see you in here. Thank you very much. All right, went it out once, but good. Hello again from El Paso, Texas, Richie Ruder, Richie Gunn. Granada, Richie Granados, how are you? Good to see you in here. Sounds good. Much better. Perfect. You guys, I am going to grab my iPad. So I will be commenting with y'all from here now. And I'm going to hit the hallway camera. And I'm headed out. You know what? I'm going to grab my water too. Actually, I'm going to have Squirt come back in here in just a minute and grab the ice. And we got a, a new one headed in there. Colton is now the operator and the controller. I don't know how long I'm going to be out here. It's kind of chilly. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so we, we will definitely be cracking a lid on a bottle of bourbon here in a moment. Aha, uh -huh. so so see, we can warm it up in here. Watch this. Man, I'm going to show you all something cool. All right, y'all ready? This is something we've been working on. Ah, so when you want it up and do it right. How's everybody doing today? I guess y'all can see we have fire now. Oh, I'm gonna have to bust out my glass. Uh, Randy, if you will bring me, there's another Yeti in there. It's got ice in it. Got like, how do y'all like that? I mean, check that out. Now we normally don't do it with the garage open. It's normally a little bit more of a controlled flame, but and, and yeah, we know the the. the the top's getting slightly burned. Uh, it is what it is. Thank you, sir. Uh, man, what, what, what do y'all think about the fire? Uh, FX in the house. Absolutely. All right. So, yes, first of all, how did I create a successful business? Well, first of all, you've got a network. You've got a market. You've got to make your phone ring. And if you're just counting on a marketing company, you better make sure they're a great one. You better make sure they're doing everything right. Because we ran into problems with people. They just wanted more money, but they weren't doing things that made the phone ring. I think I like my desk. That fire is fire. I love it. Uh, yes, I am always being creative. Jeanette, thank you very much. Mr. Wakefield, I like your opinion on dollar fittings. Uh, I think they're great. I love them. I know FX in the house, and, and it's actually warm. You know, see, it warmed up really quick. <clears throat> I should probably turn it down so I don't just catch the desk on fire or anything or the tabletop. Is running the show. Yeah, you can tell when the breeze comes in because, man, the, the fire starts moving. The flaming trades, absolutely. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go out here. First, first of all, I'll tell you what I'm going to Now, we are celebrating 500K today, so I'm going to go ahead. See, I don't even have to dig out this time. I'm going to go ahead and put just a few ice cubes down in here. 
I brought ice in just for this purpose. But since we're doing beef fajitas, I want to go out here and go ahead and get the fire, get the fire going. Uh, man, what, what what should we do today? We we did we did the horse soldier single batch last time, or the or was it the week before? Week before. We did barrel. I have not done the barrel strength yet. So that's going to be a good, strong one. Last week, we did the small batch Garrison Brothers. And I, I do have a bottle of cowboy bourbon back there. So that might be the best one for today. Uh, I don't have my bottle of Pappy here. It's at home. I've got some really good Jack Daniels, though. Uh, and actually, I don't have I don't have my best Jack Daniels. Here. You know what? I'm just going to go for the cowboy bourbon. It is a, it's a very special day. We are celebrating 500K. Uh, if you're not familiar with Garrison Brothers Bourbon, you should be. Uh, how many of y'all are going to be back next Saturday when we give away $5,000? It's the way that we're celebrating it. Uh, Metal Jake, if you go up to the top on YouTube, and y'all may have to get on YouTube to do this, but if you go up to the top, I don't know that the comments are on top. Oh, God, that smells good. I, I really wish that y'all could. They need to come up with scratch and sniff. I tell you what, y'all try this. If you're at home on a computer, even if you're on a cell phone, I, I, want, I want you to scratch the screen. I'm going to hold this up towards the camera. Scratch the screen right there and tell me if you can smell it. Because this is good stuff. All right. So, do the doctor disrespect new whiskey? Don't have that one. Uh, how to enter the giveaway? There's a link up top that'll take you over to Gleam.io. And there you go. There, there's the link right there. Thank you, Colton. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really pressing anything to share it. So, you got this. Uh, does he know his desk is on fire? Oh my God, no. Yeah, smelling it. See, me too. Ooh, something just popped. Oh, it's probably just the the copper bracket or something. I'll tell you a story in a minute, but the first time I ever tasted this was at eight o'clock in the morning. The heat is in whiskey. There you go. It's what it's all about. Bullet. I need to get some bullet up here. That would be good. I'll check some things will help if I read instead of ask. I actually like that. All right. So I'm going to walk out here real quick. And yes, we know the, the, the table is it, getting a little brown around there. Uh, it feels good. How's everybody doing? I'm going to go light a fire. Now, they have already uh, soaked the coals. At least I hope they did. That They normally do. Uh, I just want to put it on there so that when I light it, I don't have to jack around with it. And it lights up pretty quick. Oh, uh, yeah. A little chilly out here today. It's not bad, just, just a little bit. All right, so we got fire going now. We got kitchen utensils over here. And we got bourbon here. So first of all, again, guys, thank y'all very much. 500,000 subscribers, it's not me, it's not us, it's y'all. It's people coming back watching, it's people, I saw Woodford. Yeah, I love that. Uh, see, see, see bourbon and, and I get distracted. Uh, it's not me, it's y'all. It, it's y'all watching the videos, it's y'all commenting, it's y'all sharing, it's y'all being part of it. It, it, it's the thumbs up, it's the comments, it's the the questions, it's everything y'all do. Got a super chat in here. Brother Zai. Brother Zal, Zai. Okay. Second month apprentice plumber here in Kansas. Thankful to be part of the Plumber Society. It's a great group, let me tell you. Uh, learned a ton already and much more to learn. Thank you for your videos. Man, you're welcome. Do y'all have a flaming desk at work? Uh, 
you know, I got I gotta tell you, I kind of enjoy this. Number one, it's warm. Number two, it's cool. Uh, and number three, when I, when I stand here and drink bourbon, it looks pretty neat. Uh, anyway, I'm having fun. Brother Paul Peck, drywall tube is in the house. So congratulations, man. I love it. Paul Peck, how are you, sir? Uh, cheers to you. As you see, we cracked open the safe a little bit early. Uh, we are celebrating today. <clears throat> 500,000 subscribers is something I never thought about in the beginning. Okay, don't get me wrong. Late, later you do. In the beginning, it is literally, I need to make the phone ring at a plumbing company. How do I do it? And, and we are talking about how I created a successful trades business. Uh, Paul Peck's got one. You can you can make your phone ring using social media. And the good thing about it is at that point, you can control it. It's your social media. It is your videos that you put out. It's the message that you want to deliver. And what we teach, we teach people how to build their brand. What are they about? If you notice, I'm all about in black or red shirts. Now, every now and then you may see me something different. But this is what we're about. And I started doing social media to make the following because we got ripped off by marketing people for about $47,000. And we decided, look, we're not going to let that happen again. What do we have to do? And, and we took matters into our own hands. So now I teach people how to do the social media, but I also introduce them to marketing companies that won't rip them off. Uh, I've got marketing companies that God, that they can start people out for a grand or two and build an amazing, amazing website. So, these are things that I did, but in a little bit, I'm going to tell you how I grew it and sold it and what I did to me that is probably the smartest thing. Kyle Shreve, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Uh, charcoal chimney starter. I got one at home and I love it. Nate Star, thank you, brother. So where is everybody from? Uh, and, and, and I had some people in earlier, and I don't have YouTube out here with me like I do in my office. Like I do in the studio, so I don't get to just scroll back like I did. Everybody now, tell me where you're from and what you do. Yeah, you know, I, I can see your name uh, unless you've got a name that you know, Grizzly Tactical. You don't have your name there. You're in Minnesota, but what do you do? You know, what's your name? What do you do? Uh, what brings y'all back here? We reached five hundred thousand subscribers by doing some things right. But what are we doing right? What brings y'all back every week? What brings you back to watch every video? What brings you back, you know, to, to, to look at things, to see things, to comment about things? What brings you back to see what we're doing? Do you like the shorts that we're doing? Do you like the longer content? If, if I threw out a bunch of chairs and tables and bar stools and stuff like that and had some extra glasses, would y'all come by and, and hang out with us? Because we're wanting to do some really cool stuff. Everything good? Okay. All right. Minnesota, second year apprentice. Isaac Martin, commercial plumbing, stationary engineer apprentice, Indiana. Stationary or sanitary? Just curious. Ohio, Seattle, Daphne, Alabama. RTR, not sure what RTR is. Uh, Miss Jeanette, good to see you in Alabama. Uh, got people out. You know, when you when you open up your shop, you got lights on in here. You're sitting here drinking, hanging hanging out, and I got bourbon and water. Just don't mix. Uh, joking. Got the fire going. People always pull by and they're looking like, oh, what's he doing? And we're cooking. Uh, Josh, thank you very much. Says it's you, Roger. Uh, look, I, I love what I'm doing, and, and I couldn't do it without y'all. So, Josh, thank you very much. Learning, big deal. I love it. <laughs> Alan says he's thankful for his five thousand dollars. Well, I don't know that you'll win all five thousand. We're going to do five different drawings. You get points by going to the link up top. Let me know if you're in YouTube. If you're over to Facebook, you might want to YouTube because I don't know that that appears. I know that Colton posted the link a while ago, uh, and, and that makes it easy. Mechanically, 
class, sprinkler repair more because you're personable. Thank you. You know, I try to be. I used to be a bartender. I used to be a cosmetologist. So I've done great jobs that, that I love connecting and communicating with people. But then again, I was also a bodyguard. So I know to go from being personal and friendly to very standoffish and where you can just look at people and they're like, man, that is somebody I do not want to mess with. And I used to practice that. And I know it sounds weird. I'm getting way off subject. But I literally used to go to the grocery store and I would stand in line and I would just stare at people, not stare at them. But when I saw people walking up, I'd look at them. And just, I mean, imagine you got somebody standing in line, you're walking up. And they just look up. I could be in the shortest line and people would not get behind me. They would go get in the long line. And I remember I'm practicing, I'm rehearsing, I'm doing mental work for being a bouncer and a bodyguard. I used to run concert security, I used to be a stage supervisor, a pit supervisor. There he is right down in front of the stage. I met some Garth, George, uh, oh my gosh, Mark Chestnut. I, I have met so many cool people. Bands I had, I had lunch with the Stones one day. Uh, I have done really, really cool things, but I love what I get to do now. And, and, and I am a personable person, but I also know how to turn it off when I need to. Here for the green. See that Miguel Favela says, Look, here, here, here Roger, here's why I'm here. It, it's for the cash. I like that. HBCA apprentice in Colorado. Enjoy your content and the knowledge you share. Seattle. On Gene Johnson Plumbing and Heating and a Zoom Drain franchise. That's interesting. Angel Rott says, Roger, you look like you could be a spokesperson for the underworld right now. I guess that's when I was staring, so thank you. Uh, I should work for House. Not sure who you mean, House. Determined to get back down there and hang out. Sean, brother, you are welcome here anytime. Matt Bellacat says from Dunkirk, Indiana. Jason Burris says, I find the tips and tricks to fix my own plumbing. I love that. I love that. TNL in Ohio, learning things from you so I don't get ripped off. Stationary, similar to Power Engineer for Canada. Good deal. I love that. Josh, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Sean put the link in there. There is the link for the subreddit. Or Discord or both. Looks like he shortened those links up. The giveaway won't let me enter. Bro, brother's out. Man, I don't know why. Uh, it let me while I go. It looks like Sean, Colton, Randy. Can I get each one of y'all to put a link in there? That way maybe one of them can click on it. I'm going to take a sip while I do that. And I'm going to walk out here and check my fire. Mm. This is Garrison Brothers Cowboy Bourbon. 134.8 proof, and I got to tell you, for a 134 proof, it is so smooth. I love this stuff. All right, I'm going to check on my fire, see how we're doing. And we got fire going. We're starting to get some white coals. I'm going to open up the end just a little bit, see if I can get a breeze in there. It is smoking good. I'm starting to get some white ash here, so I know that we're going to be just fine. All right. I don't know if they showed me out there or not or jumped to it, but if, if so, I'm back. If not, oh, well, here we are. All right. Which one? Where was I at? Colton, if you're in there, give me a... There we go. Mechanical and kind says, I don't want your money or giveaways. I want your knowledge. Man, now, I like that. I, I do. Uh, you know, and, and here's one thing that we talked about doing. We, we talked about doing a deal where you, you, you win a day with Roger, meaning, you know, we fly you in, we put you up in a hotel. Say, say we fly you in on a, a Sunday, fly you in on a Sunday, put you up in a hotel. You come in Monday morning, you're here all day with me. We go to dinner Monday night and, and then you're in a hotel Monday night and then you fly back. We, we, we started to do something like that. So, so we're looking at different ideas. Uh, mechanic, mechanic, yeah, mechanically inclined. I, I do appreciate that. 
Sean Strong has been saying for years, I want to see a video collab with Roger and Dennis the Apprentice. Dennis the Apprentice, man, we, we got to figure out where Dennis is located and, and, and how we make something like that work. I am going to be in Vegas next week and Atlanta the next week. Andrew Ross says that it comes cosmetology from 13 to 21, then demolition and construction, line cook, kitchen work, now plumbing. This is by far the funnest career. Okay, Angel, I probably got you beat. Uh, I, one of my first jobs was a swimming instructor and hauling hay. Uh, I did that while I was a kid at home. Hauled hay for many years. Loved it. Uh, then what I did is I, I, I got into plumbing in high school. But before I got into plumbing, I became a bartender at a pool hall, ran a pool hall. Uh, managed to pull hall later, and I've been a cosmetologist, a ma massage therapist, a bouncer, a bodyguard, armed security, a uh, restaurant manager, cosmetologist, massage therapist. I've done so many things, it's crazy, but I always end up back in plumbing because, like you said, the far the fun career i love it cool deal all right so sean put this put the link in there guys try to copy that paste it do whatever you can do uh i don't know if you can just click on it and it take you over there i was able to click on it when i was in there i'm not going to try here because i'm going to lose my comments i'm going to lose everything got fire going get a little smoky out there i like it uh Breeze Comics says, St. George, Utah, second-year residential apprentice plumber. You know, I love that. One of my YouTube coaches, and guys, it's funny because even at 500,000 subs, I still have coaches. I have mindset coaches. I have YouTube coaches. I have high-performance coaches. I have coaches to help me do the things that I need to do. The easiest way to become good in this world is get somebody to coach you the right way. Uh, that, that's why we do what we do. What we're, we're starting to build training courses on getting into the trade, how to get in the trade and make the most money. Uh, go check out richwithroger.com. Uh, it's just something we're doing. I, I think that I've learned a lot of things, not just on social media, but plumbing, how to get in the trade. I joined the union after I'd been plumbing 17 years and then moved up and became director of operations for a company. I learned things along the way that I think a lot of people should learn. I got in the union, I became an instructor in the union. They asked me to. I got in the union, I was asked to be a foreman, to be a superintendent, to move up and be director of operations. I think the things I've learned along the way, I wanna share with people. I wanna teach them how to get in the trade, how to get in the trades and make the most money as a true professional. And to me, that's a big deal. Wrapped Z, I'm not even going to try. So love you, man. Good job with the videos. Thank you. Uh, wrapped Z, Stematescu. About as close as I'm going to get. I love it, though. Uh, Jose Santa Maria says, finally learning plumbing, and I love it. Good for you. Look, to, to me, guys, plumbing is just the coolest career. It, 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 and Sean says it a lot. We're, we're superheroes. When you've been plumbing as long as I have, you, you, you literally you walk in a house, the house is talking to you. It's making noises. It's telling you where the drains are. It's telling you where the water meter is. It's telling you where the is in the house. There's a lot of things that it does. And, you know, you, you learn as you get in and start doing this, you know, softwares, systems, what can help you get better at what you do? And these are things that I've learned and that now I'm sharing with people. It actually works out pretty good. Mechanically inclined sprinkler repair and more. This is licensed 20 years and eight years with our family owned business. My wife answers the phone and schedules me and my two boys and all the sprinkler repairs. Number one, I love that. And, and, and that's how we started. Uh, I started doing it all myself. Then as I got busy, Julie started answering the phones. 
then we hired people. Then we moved into an office and we started hiring more people. So it, and it's crazy, but it, you can grow it to whatever size you want. You just got to believe up here, this is how I'm going to do it. This is what I can do. There's no reason you or me can't be the biggest contractor in the world. You just got to believe up here and start putting together everything to do it. And those are the kind of things I'm learning. So it's, I love it. It's great. That's great. Daniel says, Roger, I'm a plumber here in Abilene, Texas. I watch you, but I'm curious. The questions you post here on YouTube regarding plumbing, where do those come from and how do we find the right answers? Uh, well, number one, I hope I'm giving you the right answers. Uh, the, 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 questions that we find are questions that people ask us uh unless it's just we're asking a question for a video like how do you change the flap on the toilet and then we show you how so all kinds of opportunities there but that's where we get them the opportunities that come in we get questions in through through comments through chats through our subreddit man subreddit people posting pictures and videos and stuff like that man we get a lot of content from our it would get a little warm. I like it though. I put my hand up here in it and feel the warmth. All right. Wasted Dad says, I'm just waiting for the toilet you'll log. There you go. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably not going to happen live anyway. Uh, mask desk, is it safe? You know, it, it is. Uh, we, we have regulators down here. We have check valves built in them. Uh, you know, the only thing I see wrong over here is, is the handle might have been but I should have been turned the other direction or maybe not drilled the first hole so close to it. So that will need to be turned off with pliers. But yeah, look, if it gets the desk hot, it's okay. I've already burned the heck out of one. I've got another replacement here for it already. Uh, but yeah, it, it is. It's safe. And luckily, plumbers here in Texas run gas lines. We're very familiar with it. We know how it works. We know what to do. And what not to do. Uh, and Randy, make a note, that's something we can do at the other shop if we build one. If we have natural gas out there, we could plumb this in with natural gas and a flex connector like they do commercial kitchen equipment and hook it up and then it's just natural gas. But yes, we, it's very safe. So thank you for asking. Uh, AK Otter, works a little slow right now. What should I do to learn to earn some extra money? Uh, if you're, If it's your company, I would get out to real estate agents and start really promoting your business. Can you do sewer water tests? Can you help the buyers determine if there's problems at the house? Let me walk over here and check my fire real quick. Just because I'll know. Uh, Randy, where are the fajitas? They're normally out here. All right. I got fire, so I'm going to go ahead and put the grate on. <laughs> And I'm going to turn it down a little bit so it'll heat up and clean my grate off. I love it. Look here. Man, oh, man, oh, man. We, we are cooking with gas now. Yes, indeed. All right. So have any of y'all tried Garrison Brothers or Cowboy Bourbon? Because... This is like one of my, my favorites. <sighs> Jamie Infante. Jamie or Jaime, depending on where you live. I'm a new apprentice plumber for Rebath. Just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted any tips you think may help me early on. Do y'all do all your own plumbing? Uh, do you have a, a plumber come in or, or do y'all do it? Uh, do y'all increase the size of the drain from inch and a half to two if you go to a shower? Like, I, I, I'm assuming we about the videos that I've seen. Uh, what, what all do y'all do and how do you do it? it? It's interesting. It looks like y'all changed the valve out. It looks like you changed the head, the head out, shower head. Are y'all redoing the drain too? And if so, since it's a shower, are you converting it up to two inch? Ethan Stevenson says, hello from Ohio. Thanks for inspiring me with every video you make. I plan on becoming a plumber after high school. Ethan, I love that. And, and here in Texas, 
the Texas State Board and the TEA and got somebody else got together. If you get into high school here in Texas and you tell them you want to be a plumber and your school has that syllabus, your sophomore, junior, and senior year, you can actually take plumbing. And then when you graduate, you can go take the journey, not the journeyman, the tradesman exam. That basically introduces you to a job where you can make $52,000 a year the day you start. Not bad right out of high school, huh? Jacob Jones says, I'm looking at maybe doing something as a pipe welder, maybe even in a pipe union. You've been welding for seven years and about to finish in, a, in welding tech. Jacob, number one, I love this. The, the welders in the union make great. Uh, what welders make really, really good money. Sorry. I'll play them a little bit. Welders make really good money. A lot of them are prima donnas, but here's the thing. If you are a good welder, you're going to have to understand when you get in the union and learn pipe welding, it's completely different. Burning rod is burning rod, so you got that part down, but you're going to have to learn a lot about it. But I'm telling you, it'll be worth it. The, the union benefits are great. The insurance great. There's so many wonderful things there. I was just looking at how big this was. I thought, man, Randy is hungry. Let's see what all we got in here. Uh, the opportunities are fam fabulous, though, Jacob. You're going to love it. Southwest marinated chicken breast. Orange honey marinated, which is good. This will be my favorite right here. Orange honey habanero. Yeah, I it's there somewhere. All right, so here's what I did when I sold my business. Number one, when I knew that our YouTube was growing, social media was growing, and I was going to do more of that than anything, I decided it was time to sell a plumbing company. And when I sold it, I knew about what I wanted. The company I ended up selling to, number one, I wanted it to be a company that had a great reputation. So I sold Texas Green Plumbing to Rescue Air. If you're not familiar with it, go check out rescueairtx.com and, and, and just check it out because their website's good. It makes the phone ring. But I sold to a company that I believe that we fit together. You know, I interviewed, interviewed Josh and Michael yesterday for a podcast, and it's like me and Josh are like brothers. We're, we're like, we're both high Ds. We're, we know what we want. We just don't slow down thinking. It's like, hey, let's make it happen. Come on, let's go. So what I did is I sold to them, but I retained part ownership. And to me, it's great because that company's already doubled. Size, so my value has doubled. If you're going to start a company, what is your exit plan? Do you have an exit plan? When I started that company, when I started Texas Green Plumbing, I knew one day I, I want out of it or I want to be able to get Randy in to run it. I, I want a company that will grow or run itself. I didn't want to have to work hard at it every day. So I knew that going in. Daniel says, one more thing. What would you tell someone who's taking their test soon? to study, and in general, where to learn more about plumbing and the plumbing code here in Texas. I would tell you, look at my videos. I've got a video where I talk about taking the journeyman exam. I show you how to use the UPC study guide the way I did, and I'm telling you, you will not have a problem with the written test if you study this book. It's phenomenal. Hmm. Happy Saturday. I'm going to go put these on. Uh, you know what? Let me grab my tongs. Ah, uh, here we go. And it's it's a little chilly out here. I'm glad I got the fire. All right. I'm going to put the chicken breast on for they can get me. Firstest. 
Sure is nice having a little table out here to work off of. Let me grab my spatula. Randy, we probably need to pick up a grill brush. Please, sir. Okay, so we got one down. Okay, so we got Southwest, I believe, here. Got orange honey. So, do y'all like fajitas? Uh, I think it's like the national food of Texas. I'm going to put that right there. Got that sizzle to it. I love that. And this is my favorite. The honey habanero. No way. <laughs> Boy, I got robbed today. I do the, the honey habanero beef, not the Southwest. I don't do all this chicken, though. But it is what it is. Good thing is I didn't have to go get it. All right, all right. You know, it don't matter because I'm not going to eat a lot of heat of meat anyway. I actually fired up my smoker at home last night and did a beef tenderloin and smoked it. And all I can say is, oh, my gosh. <sighs> Missed it. See, I could have told y'all I made it, too. At least I'm honest. Nate Star says, Roger, do you know if there is a drain snake? It's capable of going through a toilet safely. Pulled eight toilets this past month at the building I take care of at the hospital. I work at it. It's getting old, my friend. These people with cleaning and butt wipes are killing me. Okay, look here. Number one, if they've got cleaning and butt wipes, get rid of them and tell them to use cotton mail. Tell them if you come in and they're not using cotton mail, they're going to pay for it or something like that. Do whatever you can. Uh, no clean access through cleanouts and poor drains, so I need to pull these toilets. I don't think you're going to find a good long snake to go through them safely. I would try a closet auger, you know, the 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 ones that have the six foot extension, so you can get down through the lead bin, through the santee, down into a ninety, anything like that. But I don't, I don't know. Do, do any of y'all, Sean? Do you know of a? Looks like it keeps them. Oh, it is out there. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, you know what? We do need to fire that up one day. I'll tell you what, one day we're going to invite a bunch of people here for the Saturday live stream. And when they come up, we're going to fire that up, you know. So we need to know in advance. So we'll do it. We'll, we'll make a big party up here one day. Sean, you're invited. You know that. Oh, yeah. Sean says a rigid one or two flank shaft will go through a trap. But the chains are only intended up to two inch. Now, we've got some chains for four, but I think I've got the, the 204 flat shaft. Uh, of course, the bucket is just in the toilet. Just use a closet auger. Exactly. I love that. Jed asks, is there your apprentice in Hawaii? I've been watching your videos since before I got indentured. Number one, Jed, thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. Jed, tell, tell me, what, what, is it, what is it you keep coming back for? What is it that we're doing right? And, and while you're at it, what is it we do wrong? What is it you're like, man, I hate when y'all do this. I would love to hear it. Robert Zuzu, yes, sir, we are cooking. That's what it's all about. Uh, God, cooking too since you made me hungry. Uh, Matt Bellicat, it, man, we, this is what we do on Saturdays. We fire up the grill. B Plums has just started my own YouTube channel. You inspire me. Thank you. Congrats on your milestone. You know, and guys, no, thank you all. Thank y'all for helping me get 500,000 because it, it ain't me. 
it, 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 it's Colton, it's Randy, it's Lily, but Alyssa, it's Alex, it's Amber, it, it's Will, it's Grace, and it, it's Austin. It's everybody who's been here before that helped us do what we've done. Uh, 500,000 is huge. That means there's half a million people around the world that have watched our videos. And not enough of it to subscribe. We're at almost 70 million views. So many people are either watching a lot or they're watching and not subscribing. So what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? That's what I really want to learn. It makes it fun. Because, because here's my deal. Number one, like I said, we get to do some great stuff. Uh, and, and that's what makes me keep coming back. Y'all tell me, what is it y'all like? Sean says, I miss Will and Grace. Look, man, look, everybody who's been here has done fantastic. Uh, it was just time for people to move on, time for people to do different things. And I think that part is fantastic. This has given them great opportunities. Yep. I get it, brother. Alan says, I can be there in 10 minutes. Get ready. To, the fajitas and glass of bourbon of the Garrison Brothers. See? I great stuff here. Right, I got to go check my car. Check my meat. It do smell good. Guys, I'm probably going to end up pulling this one off just about the time that this show ends. The fire's not super hot, but I've got it open to heat it up. I'm still smoking good. Things are looking good, so I can't complain. Maria says, working as a plumber in South Africa, I've posted a few things on your Reddit page so you're able to see the work we do on this side. Love the videos. Keep them coming. Well, number one, Maria, thank you very much. Uh, it, it, it's so great to be able to see plumbing from around the world. One day, hopefully, we get big enough, I can go around the world and look out and fly to South Africa and say, hey, uh, how are y'all doing? Uh, uh, what are y'all working on today? And go out and look at people. I think that would be so cool. So I love stuff like that. Nate says, okay, thanks. I do use the closet auger with extension to clarify first. Good. Nate, and I figured you did. I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, instead of pulling the toilet, is there a vent? Can you, can you get up on the roof and go through a vent? Matt says, I, I like the knowledge. Knowledge is power. And guys, my life changed when I started learning more. And that is literally part of what I teach. Is that you know, learning more, learning a mindset, learning things that other people just don't understand, especially tradespeople, it can make all the difference in the world for you. It, it, it really, really can. All right. Sean says, you know, I've sent rigid 5.8 cable through a toilet, but never on purpose. You, you know, Sean, cheers to you, brother. Uh yeah, anybody who's ever sent a, a cable through a toilet understands it is, it's not a good thing. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. Well, the humor in the videos is top tier, informative too. Uh, Jonathan, thank you very much. You know, it's funny because I, I normally don't try to be funny. It's just, I'm just, I, I'm, my mom would say I'm a smart aleck sometime. I love what I do. And I have fun at it. And to me, it just, it comes out as fun. So thank you. Robert says, I'll tell you what, whenever I'm working or even at home and I see any video of yours pop up on Facebook, I see the thumbnail. It's like a hook to get me to watch. And most of the videos you make are unique to what other people post. And also it helps learn about different situations we could be in. Robert, man, that is fantastic because a lot of that are thoughts that we go through getting ready for it. How do we want this video to look? Who are we making this video for? Are we talking to that person? You know, there's a lot of y'all in here right now. How many of y'all are subscribed? If you're not subscribed, do me a favor. Go down right now, please, and hit the subscribe button. 
And then it'll ask you about the bell. Hit the bell and say, look, I want to be notified. Robert, I love that you put it that way because I've got people that I watch that when my notifications go off, I'll stop what I'm doing. It's like, okay, I got to watch it. That's what I want to be. I want to do the right thing. I want to do it where people look at it. They're like, man, look, I, I will watch everything this guy does because I'm going to learn something. So, man, Robert, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Nate Star says, I've used the vent when I can, but all these lately I couldn't. And, man, I get it. it here, here's what I say. Look, go with Sean. Look, look at the, the rigid flex, cable flex, and see what you can do. Will, will that two inch go through it and clean it out enough for 102? Uh, that flex shaft is really a cool tool. I love it. We had fun. Matter of fact, we, we made a video about cleaning out the inside of a pot. Uh, it, it, it is. It's a lot of fun. Mike Davis says, I love how even how you even show the screw up where most don't. Look, we all make mistakes. I get that. I don't ever want to show you the super bad mistakes where maybe we did something that maybe we shouldn't have been doing. It got a little dangerous. Uh, I probably shouldn't show those because then people laugh at it like, oh, well, I can do that. He did it. And I don't want it to be that. Uh, but we do. We all make mistakes. They called me in the office the other day. I, I was working under the sink and I dropped a pair of, dro dropped a crescent wrench. Like it hit the side of the head and hit the floor. And they're like, are we allowed to show this? I'm like, yeah, it happens. I can't tell how many times that's happened to me on the field. So absolutely. Thank you, Mike. John says, Jonathan, if you think Roger has good humor and charisma on video, you should spend a weekend with him. Such a great guy. Very fun and very generous. Guys, look, thank you. Uh, Y'all make it work and do what I do. Sean, you just, I love everything you do for us, for plumbers, for the community. It, it is. It's fantastic. I'm going to go out here and flip my meat real quick on the grill. Ah. All right, we are starting to look good. Now. Turn that one. I need to get a head cam out here. That way, y'all can actually see what I'm doing. I love it when people come driving by and they slow down and look like, what's he doing? Wonder why he's got them cameras set up. All right. Give us here a few minutes, and like I said, I will probably get my little grate or my little. That's gonna be warm. Let me grab this. See, my mistake. I love it when they drive by and they look like. I wonder what he's doing. Well. I don't know, he's cooking, there's cameras up, having fun. Like I says, do you agree when people say that the plumbing industry is always in demand for more plumbers? If so, where would you think the highest demand is at the moment? I think your highest demand is going to be in any major city. Uh, Dallas right now, uh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's talk to USA right now. There's probably a million unfilled trades jobs across the United States, a million. Bigger cities because we got more people moving to bigger cities. Uh, some of those people are plumbers, but here's what's happening is people are and are getting into it every day. And that makes it tough going tough to fill. And I'm just playing around my fire. Uh, I think the regulator, when it gets cold or something, it kind of shifts a little bit. Here's to y'all in 500K. How many of y'all are going to be here next Saturday when we give away $5,000? Just out of curious. Just curious. Just out of curiosity. The flex shaft is great unless it breaks. Uh, when it breaks, it's not simple and cheap to fix. And, and we broke one. But we bound it up. We knew we bound it up. We kept going. Uh, you're right. When it breaks, it's not a lot of fun. 
but we did it just to see. The editing helps too, so props to whoever did that too. I think I have and I've had some great editors. Uh, now we're, we're doing wonderful things. I love what, what Colton and Alex are doing right now. We're, we're making things. We are, you know, we're preparing our long videos for short videos. We're doing so much cool stuff. That I love it. Nate Star says, thanks, Roger and Sean. Getting a quote Monday for one. There you go. Jed Ant says, when I started, there wasn't too many plumbing vids that shared the knowledge that you did. You have a wide range of video topics. There's so much to learn. And every time I watch, I gain something. Jed Ant, number one, thank you. Uh, you you're the people we make videos for. Uh, we make it for homeowners. We make it for contractors. We make it for people that are getting in the trades, people that want to become a better tradesman, for people that want to start their own company and people that already have their company, but they're tired of just sending truckloads of money to marketing companies and advertisers and all that. Why not learn to use social media and grow your company organically? It works. Jet Apps is plus the mustache is a big draw. You know what? I, man, I think I get as many comments about my mustache as I do about the plumbing that we do. Robert Zuzu says, I also want to give love to everyone else behind the scenes that help make the videos and live streams possible. Well, Colton and Randy come in every Saturday to help with the live streams. Randy goes shopping, picks up the meat, comes in, sets up everything out here. Randy actually built the, the, the fire tube that we got. Uh, I told him exactly what I wanted. And, and then he said, look, I'm make that happen. And he came out and did. So, look, we have fun. But Willie Bent, Alyssa, Alex, they're in there helping make sure the posts happen and all the shares happen. It, it's, it's a pretty cool deal. Okay, he went outside. I think he's drunk. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I have had, I mean, look, I waited till 12 o'clock today to drink. Like I said, the story behind the, the cowboy bourbon, the first time I had it was at 8 o'clock in the morning. They did a bourbon release party in High Texas at the Garrison Distillery. So I drove down. And it's funny because I was trying to get out there 30 minutes early so I could be like first in line. At 7.30, when I pulled up behind a long line of cars, Waves told me I was three quarters of a mile from where I was going. And there was traffic. And I'm like, yeah, I figured that part out. Uh, but whenever you pulled in, and it wasn't eight, it was probably eight fifteen or so, because once they opened the gate, man, they just pulled people in and parked them. But when you pulled in, there's a lady up front with the trainer, like, would you like to try a sample of the cowboy bourbon? It's like eight fifteen in the morning. Absolutely. We're in Texas. Uh, but it, oh my god, it was so good. It was so good. Mike Davis is a trailer park. It's cold. Wait. Trailer park as cold as it has been with busted lines. Not sure what you mean, but yeah, if if there's a trailer park and there's water lines under it, uh, they can freeze. You want to be very, very careful. Just dropping by to say you are cool AF. I love it. Fresh rutabaga. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Sean Strong will tell you otherwise. Matt McDonough says, I will be here to see the Mr. Miyagi of plumbing. Thank you very much, brother. I love it. And, and Matt, you, you've been coming around forever. I, I do. I, I appreciate that. Robert says, think I'm going to have to call out of work to, to be at that live stream. i uh, love to put that giveaway in a CD. You know, and, and, and you know, Robert, look, I love it. I love when plumbers are thinking about how do I put up money? How do I save money? Plumbers make great money. The bad thing is we're never taught how to spend it or how not to spend it. So those are things that I'm working on. How can I teach plumbers to be better stewards of the money that they have? Because to me, that's such a big deal. All right, let me go look at my meat real quick and I will be right back. I'm peeking at my meat. A little smoky out here. Got 
Oh, yeah. Man, we are cooking with gas now. Like I said, it's probably going to be. Quitting time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the meat and bring it in here. Guys, this is a special 500K day. Uh, the show should be over now. So it's fixing me up. But I just want to tell y'all thank you. I do appreciate y'all being here. Y'all are the reason that I get to do everything that I get to do. And I mean everything. Uh, I have fun making videos. I actually love it. I get to share content about plumbing, why we do what we do, the fun behind it, the good behind it, how hard it is, how easy a lot of stuff is. And as I told y'all tomorrow, I'm headed to Vegas for the kitchen and bath industry show. I've got a fork in here. I've got a knife in here. Randy Colton, y'all want to come out here and try some meat and say hello? Uh, y'all might have to bring your own fork because I've only got like a place setting for one. I don't need the spoons or the knife. I'm going to go ahead and sit here and cut open a little bit of meat just because I can. And look at that. Fajita meat. If you're in Texas, you know this is great stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit off again. I'm gonna have to get off, get on to Randy for his his choice of meat selection. Is it? It's not what it said. Is it? Uh, you and Colton want to grab forks or a plate or something and come on out. So, got a heat of meat. It looks amazing. It's amazing too. Mm. Chicken are not really, really good. The heat of meat's amazing. Mm. It's warm over here. So we got. Squirt and Colton. Hmm? You can cut some off there. I just cut that off and I've been cutting it up and get that out of the way. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do. Uh, y'all allow us to do what we do. We get to have fun. We, we get to we get to build crazy stuff. You know, it's a lot in here. Stuff. Fun stuff. Fun, I know, I know. <laughs> squirt squirt <laughs> built the built a toothbrush. Hmm. Uh, he, he, built, he built the fire pit. He, he ain't got to go nowhere. Uh, he built the fire around here. Yeah, now he's wants into the food. So anyway, next Saturday. By this time next Saturday, we will have given away $5,000. Click on the link above. If you're on YouTube, you'll find out how to put yourself in a position to win it. We're trying to figure out what to do for a million subs. It's going to take us a little while to get there, but we will. So what I would say is y'all can hang around. I'm going to drink a little bit of bourbon. I am. Notice I locked the safe right by the time I came out. Mm. Okay. Robert Zula says we need to do a live review of that chicken right now, one to ten. Let me balance this. Thanks for being awesome. Do that. You do that. Sean Strong says, Henry, great work on the table. Colton, keep running the show the way you do. Roger, thank you for everything, and I mean everything. Brother, you're welcome. Thank you. A special shout out to number one Sean. Uh, but Colt and Randy for coming in, doing the things that we do. It's a little warm. It's not too bad today. Edge of the table is getting a little brown. Mm -hmm. But that's not too bad either. Uh, yeah, y'all should have been here today. 
if y'all ever want to come by, just let us know in advance you're coming. That way we have enough food because we only bought four biscuits and four breasts and a little bit of potato meat today. I think brisket yesterday. Yep. Was that good? It's cool. Hey, we're, we're in the meat here. Barbecue, fajitas, it don't matter. Mmm. How's the chicken? Oh, y'all, we ain't, we ain't even tried the chicken. We're all eating the beef. Why'd you buy so much chicken? I wouldn't even bought chicken. I'd have been like, yeah, we thought about it, but just in case. Yeah. Hmm. Matt McDonald says, thanks for being awesome. Love Mr. Miyagi of Plumbing. All right, guys, next week, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. We'll start giving away five grand. Let's click on the link above what you need to do. Get into Gleam IO. Find out what do you need to do. If you know anybody wanting to get in the trades, send them over to Rich with Roger. Richwithroger.com. Good. So I hope you had fun today. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see y'all next week.